Okay, here we go. We're going to be doing the finish turn. This is uh, the first part of the video with the rough turn. I already posted, and now I'm going to be doing the finish turn. We had a little cracking here. I filled in with some CA glue. It didn't go all the way through, so we'll probably turn it out. But is if you look right here, the bark shrinks quite a bit more than the wood. So we'll have to turn a bit of that down out here. But I will set you up over here and we'll get it going. Okay, now I'll thin out the sides a little. Got lots more scraping to do in there, but we got quite a bit. 
bit more to take off down here. Too. Just the same working it thinner and thinner here check fairly often and see that's uneven I'll need to scrape that a bit but bring you back in when we're sanding so I'm getting ready to sand this and I will reverse the direction you see the small hole there you need to uh, set that set screw before you reverse it and I'll be using one of these to begin with so audio is going to go to crap that's for sure because uh, my air compressor will be kicking on and off when we do this so. Okay, so I got her sanded nice and smooth. Blow the dust off it. I usually don't reverse check these. I could make up a jig for it. But I just usually don't. I, I like to be able to, I don't know. I'm just not that worried about the bottom of them, I guess. But got a little boiled linseed oil here. And I like to get what I can. work it in on the lay. Inside can be kind of tricky so I'll wipe it down and then I'll turn it, turn it on. Got to be really careful getting out here on the edge. Um, I messed up one time and wasn't careful enough and got my finger smacked like that. Yeah, I saw it knock my finger off. It was 
horribly painful. Yeah. Given the shape of this one, I'll just wipe it down everywhere. like to get a real good coat of this on there, spoil blend seed oil, it really helps to bring the grain out on it. There we go. I'll let that uh, sit for a couple days. It'll dry out real nice. And then it's five, six coats. All depends on how thick you want it of lacquer. And that's uh, my process for a live edge bowl.